Hey Black Boxing, here with another video. Post fight, Granados Browner. Browner wins. Split decision. Um I worked overnight last, you know, last night. You know, so when I came home this morning I, you know, went to bed and um, you know, so I got up and watched the fight a little bit after that. And uh close competitive fight, man. You know, they went at it, man. Um, and you can tell that Broner didn't want to lose, you know, to a fighter like Granados because if he did, his stock would drop, you know. He would go down a level. And Granados, he, he brought it. He didn't want to lose either because, you know, being a, a name like Broner would take him to the next level, you know. Coming in the fight, he had he already had four losses, you know, and he says that a lot of them are contesting, and you know he could possibly be uh, could have won some of those fights, man. But who knows? But anyway, um, he got the opportunity to shine, you know, and uh, he did he did his thing, man. He got five losses now, and I feel as if nobody really gonna fight him now if he would have beat Broner, they would have put him in some contention he probably would have fought some people but since he lost whether they believe he won or not or really believe it was a tie a draw or uh contesting enough nobody's gonna fight a person like granados because it's high risk low reward man i mean really really high risk low reward because he gonna bring it man he got been knocked down but he keep he keep bringing it he keep coming and um you know, he, he can make a, a hard matchup for any fighter that's on the uh, other side of the ring of him. Broner, man, he uh, did some combinations in his fight, man. But, you know, single shots here and there, you know, counter punching. He did a couple. He did some good, uh, some good um, counter punches, you know, with the right hand, right uppercuts, right straight, stuff like that. You know, but... Really, it's the same Broner that I've seen over and over and over. You know, I know you say he's going to change, 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 but I guess seeing how he was even when he was training, when I was watching Fight Hot, by the way, he was training, that I knew it's going to be the same Broner. You know, and I said in my uh, prediction, I did pick him to win. And I said it would be, it's a truly a 50 50 fight. I said he would win. It would be one of those 51% to 49% type of wins. And the reason I'm saying it is because, like I said, Granados. All respect to him, he's definitely not a world beater. But I said it wouldn't be because of Granados, because he's a, a hard nosed, come for pressure type of fighter, or because he beat Amir Mom. It's more because of Adrian Broner not taking his craft seriously and just doing the bare minimum. You see, in the fight, it was close, you know. Um, any, even when Broner was throwing his combinations, when he did throw them, uh, landing single shots like he since he's a counter puncher, of course sometimes you counter punch it's gonna his punch is gonna be more fluent he's gonna he's, you know you can definitely tell like okay Granados got hit with a punch but what Granados would do a whole lot would to nullify that was just he just you know throw combinations did all of them land absolutely not was all of them hard uh, hard crisp punches absolutely not but he he threw it in the judge's hands like you know what I'm just being busy. You know, he fought on the back foot. He showed that he can actually box, that he's just not a brawler. You know, he he basically, he did a, a boxing brawler type of fight. Not a boxing puncher, but a boxing brawler type of fight. You know, he made it he made it the inside game. You know, Brawner really don't fight on the inside. You know, he really can't. You know, he, he threw some shots in the inside, but when he's in the inside, he's uncomfortable. That's why he's always pushing. That's why he's always, you know, trying to get people to the ring rows. He was trying to move, but his, his legs is just too damn stiff, man. I don't know what's up with that. You know, uh, but this is his game. He's he, he fight real wide leg because he don't got good foot movement, man. You know, and a fighter with just being uh, pressure or just being value has having volume can beat Adrian Broner, man. It really don't matter. Or if it don't beat him, just be a con a close contesting fight. You know, like I said, all respect to Granados, man, but really. Broner, with a person like Broner, man, his skills and his talent, he's not supposed to have no split decision win over uh, 
Granados, man. This supposed to be an easy work, man. I'm just being honest, man. Like I said, you know, and I know Granados is a, a whole I know is fighter, man. But it's supposed to be easy work type for for the name Broner, right? I'm just saying, you know, because he, he at this point it's just the name because he still sell, man. You know, so he get he gets the victory. If they fought somewhere else, it's a possibility Granados could have, <coughs> excuse me. It's a possibility Granados could have won. But that's neither here nor there. I'm not even talking about the winner or the loser for this uh for this uh sake. I'm just saying how you see Broner couldn't hurt Granados. Actually Granados looked more like a welterweight than Broner. You know, so my thing is this. You stay in that welter because you don't wanna Bite down. You don't want to get a nutritionist. You don't want to put in the hard work to get down to 140, which is, would be your best weight right by now, man. You know, like I say, your body will mature enough to 147 eventually. But right now, it's not where it's at, you know. The fight's supposed to be in at 140, but you didn't want to make it. Then you push it to 142 and uh, eventually made it to 147, man, you know, and everything else. So, you had things in your favor, but... You know, you want to fight, but what you going to do next time? And I know you say you hurt your hand, your left hand, in the first round. So, you was already out of the ring for 10 plus months from the time you fought Ashley Tilfane to you fought last night. So, if you really did hurt your hand, you're going to be out some months before you can train again. So, you know, what What does uh, Bronner do from here, man? Okay, you got this. You basically had to knock him out, drag him out type of fight with Granado. So, what do you think you're going to do against a guy like Earl Spence, a guy like Keith Thurman, a guy like Carol Brook, a guy like Danny Garcia. If they was on the other side of the ring, you know, the version that Jack that fought last night, and I'm not knocking the brother, you know what I mean? But the version that fought last night, those guys I just mentioned, they would have creamed you, man. It would it, it wouldn't have been close, bro. Those guys, like I said, at one point in time, I believe him and Danny Garcia would have been a phenomenal fight. But now Danny Garcia has he has evolved. And Bronner is still Bronner, man. You know, he 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 got a you know he 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 definitely is a selling mechanism. But that's that's about it, man. You know, so I, I don't know. You know, if I was Bronner, man, just go go to one forty, man, and uh, see if you can do see what you can do, man. You could easily be Ricky Burns, get that belt, and unify with Terrence Crawford, man. You know what I mean? That'd be a phenomenal fight. Because both of the guys, you know, Terrence Crawford bring it. And so is uh, Broner, man. And I'll just tell you for right now, that fight would be like a Zab Judah versus Mayweather type fight. You know, Broner bring it on the first half of the fight. Then Terrence Crawford going to end up closing the show. But <clears throat> it's like that fight never going to happen. So I guess we just got to wait for Adrian Broner to see what he's going to do next. And, um,. Gonna be totally honest, he ain't gonna beat nobody at what's away. No top person in what's away, you know, um, would probably would have problems with uh, with Broner. Um, uh, they 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 the guys I just mentioned, they beat him mid to uh, what's away would be would be him, man. So I guess you could fight guys like Guerrero and stuff like that, but um, when it comes to a straight movement up, try to fight for a title and stuff like that, you don't got nothing coming, man. Not at that way because he just. He's going to be just way too uh, small at this point because, like I said, Granados looked bigger than him and Gr Granados was manhandling him in a whole lot of different uh, spots. And, you know, he held his own, but, you know, Granados been knocked down a bunch of times. He couldn't drop Granados or even hurt him one bit or discourage him. He, he Granados kept coming. And he hit him with some flush, good shots, and Granados ate him and kept it pushing, man. So I'm not saying he don't got a chance. He's been knocked down before, you know, but what I'm saying is, you know, that division, he, he too lazy to make 140. He too smart to, to actually fight, to contest, to have really contested in 147. So what do you think? I mean, come on, man. I mean, well, what do you think he's going to do? So, you know, I can say congratulations for the victory. Um, but, you know, I guess let's go back to drawing board, man. It's K-Black Boxing. And I'm signing off. Like, comment, and subscribe.